Hey everyone, Lord Devin here again, and today I am bringing you a new device out of China from Sigeli, uh, but we're going to focus a little bit more on the board uh, that makes up this device, um, but here it is. This is the Sigeli 20 watt. So the Sigeli 20 watt is a new variable wattage device or selectable wattage device uh, out of China that is much like the DNA 20. Um, it is not a clone of the DNA 20, but it is much like the DNA 20. And it is a selectable wattage device, meaning that you, you know, select your wattage. And as you see here, it's set to 11 watts and, and then you vape. But unlike all of the other um, boards and chips and devices that have come out of China, this one actually does do a good job at the wattage. Uh, the board is made by a company called Yihai E-Cigar, and you may not have heard of them before, but they were the brains behind the VAMO, the Z-Max, and a lot of the other chips that are coming out of China. They are uh, they're the board maker and sometimes the mod maker for these devices that we've been buying from uh, from all the, the the factories in China that are making these devices. Uh, they have been the kings and queens of pulse width modulation. But instead of keeping with what they've been doing and just trying to, to hit higher numbers, they wanted to take a step back and give us what we wanted. And that was a good, you know, selectable wattage device. And, and that's really what they've done here. Now a lot of people are comparing this device to the chip that's in this device and this has the DNA 20 in it. Um, Yihai Cigar is not cloning the DNA 20 but what they're doing is giving us what we've asked them for. Um, they are trying to give us what we want and what is popular and it seems that we've asked for 20 watts. Um, we have asked for no more pulse width modulation. We have asked for a constant, consistent vape. And, and that's what Yihai is trying to do. They're trying to give us that good, constant vapor production. They're focusing on the vape experience. They don't want to hear that they're a clone of the DNA 20 because they're not. This is their technology. And they're bringing it to us at an affordable cost. <coughs> Excuse me. This DNA 20, oh, see, I almost did it. This SX200 device is MSRP $120. Now that's Sigeli saying they believe that this is what this should sell for. And uh, to be totally honest, this is well worth every penny. And it's a phenomenal device for the price because, you know, we've been dealing with you know, other devices that go 12 watts, and although they're a good constant volt or wattage, um, they go to 12 watts, they're big and bulky, um, and they want 170 bucks for them, 160 bucks for them. Um, but now we're getting something better uh, and something more of what we want, and that is the Sigeli 20 watt. Now, there's also Greenleaf, and Greenleaf makes the 720, um, because these go from 7 watts to 20 watts. It looks almost identical to this. Um, but let's get into this device a little bit more. Um, I'm going to take my, well, I'm going to leave it on for this display. Um, I'm going to show you the display on this, which at the very top it has my set wattage, which is 11 watts. You see the voltage needed, uh, which is 5.44 volts, and that's the second uh area and then on the other side is the remaining battery power um, in a little meter. Then down at the very bottom that's the ohms of resistance of my coil and then we have the remaining battery uh, life left on my 18650 and this is an 18650 device. It doesn't mean it can't be an 18350 because the whole tube does come off and I'm sure that Sigeli will probably be giving us an 18350 or an 18550 tube for this, which would be fantastic. I've got my uh, E-Fast IMR battery in here. Now at the very bottom, 
we also have a battery cover so we don't have to take the tube off to replace the battery we can just pull this off um, unscrew it and it has a you know standard spring spring and of course some ventilation holes now at the very top of this device we have and I'll take off the uh, Pro Tank 2 for this we have an Ego adapter uh, Ego threaded 510 adapter and as you can see that very center pin is a, a nicer pin than most of these devices have had and then of course if you want to put a tank on this you can put this beauty ring on uh, the cool part about this beauty ring is it's enclosed almost so it gives it a nice look and uh, design for the top so that if you want to put a tank on um, or whatever device you want to put on here you know you just screw it on the top and it kind of looks better <clears throat> the movement or the adjustment of this device is a five click it's a five click on off it shows the Segeli logo and then the board which is SX200 and then it's on it always sets itself back to 10 watts every time it's uh, you know the battery is removed so you will have to adjust it it has a gyroscope in there which means that if you click it five times it goes through system your wattage adjustment and then of course to exit the menu now from system we can turn this device off by tilting this way <laughs> Then our five click on off brings back the Segeli logo. We can go to our wattage, and if we want to lower it, we tilt it this way. If we want to raise it, we tilt it this way. Once we hit our 11 watts, we can hit the button, it'll take us to exit, and then we can tilt to exit the menu. That's it. It's not that bad to adjust it using the accelerometer or gyroscope or whatever that is called in there. Um, but when it is annoying is when you're driving in the car. Because when I'm driving in the car, you have to look at it in order to adjust it. Because it just continually goes. You have to know when to stop. So that does become a little bit of a bother. You can't take your eyes off the road that much. And uh, I would really like to see some standard buttons let me just click it to adjust it um, the fancy gyroscope is cool but unnecessary um, I'm gonna show you what this looks like on the ECB meter of course it doesn't use pulse with modulate pulse with modulation it's just a nice flat signal it's linear and uh, I'm gonna pop it on the ECD meter I'll show you the display now shows that it's uh, for 11 watts it's um, 4.69 volts and we've got a 2 ohm coil on here it's set to 11 watts I'm gonna hit it and that's the wattage output now I know it's set to 11 it's showing you 11.3 and um, you know might be a little off, but let's take a look at what a DNA 20 device, which I always have problems screwing the ECD meter on this thing, looks like at 11 watts. Now we'll take a look at the DNAs. Wattage is set to 11 watts. It's also showing 2 ohms. And of course the voltage doesn't show until I hit the button. So, it's a lot like the DNA. It shows a pretty constant wattage. It is what I set it to. Now, it does jump up a little in its offness uh, when you get up into the higher wattages. I'm going to take it up to 11.3. Let's let that cruise up there a little bit. 
All right. We are set to 17.7 watts. It's showing 5.94 for voltage. And it's hitting that wattage. Now we're going to take it to 20, which is 6.32 volts. And we're killing this little spire I have on here. Now we can, uh, we can put something that's got a higher ohm to it. Uh, <clears throat> so here I have the clouper. Uh, it's now set to 7.21 volts, uh, 20 watts. So as you can see, the device is pretty consistent with its watts. One of the things that I have found with this device is that uh, it does have a problem going below the battery voltage, the remaining battery voltage. And what I mean by that is, as you can see, is that my battery has a remainder of 3.76, 3.75 volts. Even though they say in the manual, and this is the manual for this device, <clears throat> even though they say in the manual, at least the specs, the technical specifications, which are here, that your output voltage range is 3 to 8.5 volts, it doesn't seem to be able to step down below what the voltage is. So I think the battery voltage output on this really should read something like 4 to 8.5 volts. Um, it, it is a 7 to 20 watt device. Uh, the atomizer range they say is 0.5 ohm to 3 ohm. No, it'll do higher than 3 ohm. It'll, it'll do 0.5, but with a 0.5 at 4 volts, you're looking pretty close to about 20 watts. So <clears throat> I'm going to say this is not for the sub-ohmer. Uh, with a 0.1 ohm atomizer, it will only go 14 watts and higher. <clears throat> so I think this is more of a device for people who like things around 1.5 ohm and up. And that's okay, because they need their cheaper style variable wattage device that's consistent. <clears throat> Not everybody can afford a DNA20 board uh, or a DNA20 device. Now, I love my Opus D. But, for a lot of things, I have been wanting a DNA20 that is a tube mod. Now, this is not a DNA20. It is not as good as the DNA20 in all respects, but it's a great start. This is a game changer. This is true select or set wattage devices coming out of China. And I think this is just a, a beautiful thing. It's got an MSRP of $120, uh, which is just fantastic because it puts it into the budget of a lot of people. Now, Sigeli is going to be enforcing that price. And they are going to, so they say, not be doing co-ops. So <clears throat> they really want to focus on the $120 price for this device, and I've got to say it's worth every penny. This is a beautiful device. Now there will be people trying to do co-ops, and there will be people trying to bring down the pricing on this device, um, and I get that. But this is a $120 device, and it's worth every penny. They could have asked for more. So let's just understand that if you're not going to get it at a lower price, pick it up for the 120 um, I did not get this for the review. I purchased this directly from Sigeli, and I paid more than what most of the vendors are going to be paying. So I don't regret this purchase. I mean, this cost me over 100 bucks in order to get this in. But I've had it for two weeks, and I've been vaping on it every day. And I have got to say that the vape experience on this device is so much like the DNA20 that I am amazed and impressed. It's a fantastic device. It's worth the money. Um, if you want it,
pick it up. If you want to have that DNA experience, but you can't afford the two, three, four, five hundred dollars for a DNA device, and don't get me wrong, some of those devices are so worth that money. There are some very beautiful devices out there, and I would not trade my, my Opus D for one of these. But this is a DNA style vape for the average user, and it is a great one. Um, the experience is fantastic. I, I really do highly recommend this. And things are only going to be getting better from here. This is their first revision. They've already got the SX220 board out that does 4 to 8.5 volts. And <clears throat> they're going to continue to improve this and add features to it and, and be testing it and tweaking it. I mean, look at the the ZMAX boards and the VAMO boards of yesterday compared to what they are today. That was Yehi improving each different step and stage. That was EHI just making everything better and they're going to continue to improve this. Um, I am impressed. I, I hope you are too. Uh, I'm Lord Davin. This is the Segeli 20 Watt. This is the SX200 board. Let them know I sent you.